morning. Is it still morning? I think no. it's still morning. It's it is still morning. Nice. Good morning, <laughs> and welcome to a very impromptu pseudo photo moment as I figure out where my cables are. Uh, hi, everybody. You know me, Photo Joseph. This is my man, Sean Mark Nipper. You've seen me a couple times, maybe? You have. We Helping have. out, yeah. They have. They have. You're going to have to kind of like lean in a little bit. Oh, okay. so just so you know, the focus point is kind of set right. forward so on I, here. So. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so I know it's a hold. So basically, Sean here went out and um, went out and had some fun. He, he, he will go and show him what you got. Well, the first thing I got to unbox today. Oh, he got his GH5, his first GH5. Look at He's that. He's very excited. It's so heavy. It is, it's, it's got some heft to it. It, it definitely does. does. It does. So yeah. he already unboxed that because <clears> I figured, you know, you get to see unboxing of the GH5. There's no need for this. See but that. this is the, this. well, the, really that white front thing there. This is what they really want to see. All this accessory right. kit. Exactly. Accessory kit and the Ninja Inferno itself. Here, let's get, let's do this. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah. Let's, let's start with this guy this. right here, right? Let's start with the little one. Start um. With the little one. And, so, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm excited about this. I would imagine so. I would imagine so. Here, let's put this here. Slide this thing in here. We'll get the oh, yeah. little top-down view. We can, uh, wait, wait, do I? Oh, wait, did I? See, everything, for those of you who are on the show this morning, oh, I don't. Who were on the show this morning, we had some major disasters. I don't know what was happening. So we're going to see how this stream goes. Hopefully everything goes well. Um, but I realized that the backup I pulled from doesn't even have my top-down view on it, so I guess we can't switch to the top-down camera. But that's okay. We're just going to look at it this That's okay. So, so you ready to start unboxing? I am. Let's do well, this. Let's, before you even get into it, let's talk about, let's, for anybody watching this who doesn't know what the heck this thing is, what is this? And let's talk about why you bought this as well. <laughs> you are delaying my gratification. I know. Um, it's just what I do. So I, you know, I've been working with the GH4 for year and a half or so. Okay. And I came from the Canon 7D, so that was my my daily driver, okay. as they say. Um, and then I actually, on Video Maker Magazine, I entered one of those little email like contest things, and I won the Samsung NX1. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Yeah, right? Yeah. And when that came out, I was then, like... Weren't you, weren't you about to buy a GH4, but then you yeah, won that camera? Right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm like, sweet. So I got, I got a Samsung NX1, mm -hmm. great lens on it, and that was a great camera. Uh, it had some deal breakers for me, though, like this... No you couldn't do that. Any. It was like just the, you know, yeah. and I'm like, that sucks because no matter where you put the camera, it's like you have to be behind it to see right, right. what's going on. So that was that was a big deal. And I know it's such a minor thing, but that was a big deal for me. And then it only shot H.265. And at the time, oh, God. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah, year, yeah. A, a year ago or so, right. a year and a half. Nothing supported that. Nothing. I mean, Premiere finally did, but it was, you had to download the thing. And it, it was, was really chunky. I could only see, yeah, and yeah. I could only see it in Premiere. Yeah. <clears throat> so okay. that was that was frustrating. So I'm like, well, let's see what I can get for this on, on uh, Amazon. And I got the exact amount to get a GH4 and the 12 to 35. Nice. <laughs> like, sold. There nice. you go. So I've been working with that. And, you know, I've been watching your show, and, and I'm a huge fan of your stuff. And, oh, and sure. um, You know, and I love your training, by the way. I've thank been watching you. that even before I got this video. Oh, and if you, you haven't got the training yet, you should do that. How yeah, about should. a shameless plug for that? Yeah, there you go. Shameless plug. We like shameless plugs. Shameless plug away. Yeah. GH5training.com. Super, super um, intuitive, and it's just, you're so, you're such a good teacher. And I'm, you know, I'm working on my own course, and I just, like, I have the most respect for what you do and all that this thank you. is. It's a lot of work that goes into this, guys. I don't know if yeah. you realize that. I um, appreciate that. You bet. So it's here. I have, you know, I just got a big contract, and I give you, cool. you know, shooting over the next year. I have 35 videos that I'm working oh, with wow. the Southern Oregon University. Okay. So I budgeted in some uh, new some new gear, and this is what I'm going with. And so Go the on. reason why am I going with the Atomus? Well, on the the main video for SOU, uh, their main webpage, they have a video that uh, was done by someone else, and there's a lot of time lapse on it, and there's a lot of tiny, tiny village stuff. Mm -hmm. And what Ashland's trying to do is not portray themselves as a small school. We are a small town, but it, there's a university here. And right. so what they want to do is send the message more of the fact that it's more intimate and you have uh, smaller classrooms, but they don't want to talk about small. So these time lapses in these tiny villages, what I said is why don't we do more stuff that's slow motion, more engaging, some more, you know, uh, let's see the students working together. Let's see the students working with professors. And so being able to shoot 4K 60p and be able to get that beautiful high quality image and be able to slow it down mm -hmm. and get that slow motion. It's just, you know, I mean, everything's beautiful in slow motion. Yeah, right. So you're planning to shoot. So we talked about this in the last show, but one of the, the GH5 internally can shoot 4K 60p 
in 8-bit. Right. Um, or it can shoot 4K 30p in 10-bit. Mm -hmm. But if you want 4K 60p 10-bit, you got to go right. external. Right. Um, and it's shooting ProRes internally. We max out it now at 400 megabit, which is mm -hmm. phenomenal. Uh, but ProRes is, I think, 800 megabit. I think yeah. that's right. So it's it's even higher bit rate. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so you're just going for max quality. Are you going to be shooting in vlog? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got that little black envelope that I got to... <laughs> Open up and, and do all that. I'll watch your, and, your video head and show yeah, me how to do that again. Good luck with that. Let me know how that goes. Um, <laughs> and then the other thing is that I have I have a couple movies that I'm working on. And okay. actually, um, I did some second unit stuff for this last film, this horror film we shot in Nevada City. Okay. And the director liked it so much, looks like I'm going to be the DP for this nice. next movie. So nice. that's awesome. And you were talking about how you were in L.A. and there was a guy... Buying a couple of GH5s, right? Yep. What was the story on that? Yeah, yeah. He was uh, he was a you know film guy who's on a Hollywood project, and he came in to buy a GH5 and a Metabones adapter, and I, I forget which lens, a Sigma lens or something. It was a whole nice kit. And I was asking him, so why? Well, what made you decide to get the GH5? And it was when we were looking at at our options to do what we needed to do, and he didn't specify what that was, but it's probably the 60 frame um, to do what we needed to do is either a GH5 or a um, what was that little camera called? An Ari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, oh, I, I was corrected as Airy. <laughs> Airy, yeah, oh. yeah, oh, yeah. I was corrected Aerie last uh, last um, time I was with so him. Apparently, so an Alexa was his other choice, which is like you know, like fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, so. up to eighty grand for oh, just the body, you, you know, for Christ's sake. Small pittance. So anyway, so that so you can do these kind of things right. here, which is yes. awesome. Anyway, so we are live. Let me just take a look and see what's yeah. going on here in the live production. Bart saying. And we're telling you to stop taking toys away from me. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm taking everything away from you. <laughs> you no got idea your what you're talking about here. <laughs> I go, well, look, we're kind of here. If we do the split thing, we have to come in close. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, i got to go over here. Gonna, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Um, Bart says, is Sean wearing a production hub shirt? I want one. Is that? Yes, is that I am. Enough? That is definitely a production hub shirt. <laughs> You've had nice call. Nice, nice. Um, folks, if there is any issues in, oh, is some saying no lag? Is there a lag here? Let me know if you got any lag or what's if how the production's go, of how the stream is going because we obviously had some serious issues earlier today and um, I'm hoping that that went away. I kind of rebooted everything. So let's uh, go for it, man. Okay. Unbox, unbox this bag. While I'm tearing this open, I'll talk about how I got this shirt. I was at the Cine Gear Expo in LA last, I think it was May, end of May, and I had no idea that I needed to pack an extra bag just for all the swag that you get from. The uh, from all the different vendors, so they were there. I got the hat and I got the uh, thing. Of course, they were trying to get you to sign up for uh, you know a monthly thing with Production Hub, but uh, yeah, Next it's cool. So now oh, you got the dunk. Yeah, oh, yeah, I can't nice. Switch to it easily, but at least we can do Fantastic. It, so. Okay, so I guess we should switch like way. this. Yep. Go all right on. here we go. Uh, Congratulations! Why? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. All right. Well, there it is. Download now. All the stuff, late, all the stuff you need, yeah. yeah. And it comes with a caddy. Empty caddy, I assume. Yep. Yep. Sweet. Yep. So if you've never shot with these things before, you've never worked with these before, you can hold it. I'm okay. just trying to take it away from you. Um, your SSD drives go into these little caddies, and I guess it comes with one, or does it come with more? So we'll find out. Well, I'll let you unbox it. Oh, okay. Let's yeah, see yeah. If there's any more in this there. This is mine. But, sorry. Uh, but he does have... SSD drives we've got right here. So we you basically screw these in. It's just you just screw them into this, and then you've got a little solid. Yeah, it's 500 right terabyte. Uh, 500, 500 terabyte. That'd be 500 brilliant. Terabyte. <laughs> 500 gigs. Maybe in two years. Uh, for yeah. like 150 bucks. So I, I grabbed two of those guys. Cool. So cool. okay. So slides in, and then this Master thing Caddy. has a dual battery slots on the back, which is right. really really cool. So yeah, two batteries in there. Love that. All right, let's see what else. Did is it in come there. with batteries? Let's see. Let's see. Let's go here. Okay. Let's top okay. down exactly. All right. Okay. So, Starter guide. Down. Paperwork. All right. Oh, it's just the power stuff. Yeah. yeah. Power stuff and more power stuff. Is there anything? No, these things pop out so you can make room for other things. It's, oh, okay. Yeah, good luck with that. You gotcha. Big. Sweet. All right, so there's that. So now, all right, so that's just the basic. So you get no thing. batteries with this guy. Not even no HDMI cables in there. Nothing's in there. Huh. Wow. Okay. Interesting. That is that is the bare bones. Okay. Kit. All right. Well, let's put you back in here. All right. So I guess well, that was that super fun. What, I guess that's what the Can't wait to plug that baby in. That's what the accessory kit is for. Oh, this is all kinds of cool stuff. Look at this. Oh, my goodness gracious. All kinds of good stuff comes This is here. great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My entire wardrobe is pretty much swag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mark Johnson's saying my entire wardrobe is swag. That's funny. I'm telling you, I got so many shirts. Some of them are scratchy, though. I don't like the scratchy ones. So Trevor's saying it's just huge, man. I've seen a couple of people put that in the hot shoe of the GH5. Don't do that. The Inferno should be on a proper EVF support. I don't disagree. However... It is quite light, mm -hmm. and 
I just, let me see if we find it. I just found and I emailed myself this link to a, a new little hot shoe adapter that I really like. It's much better than just a, um, a ball head thing. They seem way more solid. So at least I can find that while he's opening this you up. You just keep going. I'm going to just Let's go right ahead. Oh my god. I like the Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Here it is. I found it. Um, yeah, this is it. So this thing is called a small rig. What is it? 40 bucks. And you see here it's got, it's much more robust and it is designed to go. Oh, well, here in this case, they've got it mounted onto a cage, don't they? Oh, so I did end up getting the small rig cage for the GH5. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I was mistaken. I thought this went, went onto the cold shoe. Well, I guess it, maybe it can. It kind of shows it there. I think that's on the cold shoe. Um, well, this looks really cool, though. Huh. But, or you can get the small rig cage. Yeah, I got that one right there. This, um, this for GH4, GH5. That's one, yeah, the 2049. And then they've oh, got a really cool, cool thing that, um, let me see, I got the attachment that has a handle with, that can hold the, neat. yeah. Yeah, all kinds of neat little accessories. Yeah, I, okay. I got the attachment that you can, one day when I get upgrade to the, uh, the XLR1, right. there's a little, um, uh, cheese plate that goes over the top of that, and then the handle goes over that. Okay. So. Okay. Um, cool. All right, let's see what's in the cabinet. Okay. It's huge. Um, well, here, I can open this wider. Let's go for a wider go? view. There we go. Uh, All right. We'll just go for the full on. Sweet. Let's switch back over to the top down on here. Nice. There. Need the Sean button on that. <laughs> Need the. <laughs> There's an old joke in there. <laughs> trying to break anything. When you open All it. right. Is that, is that gonna? Oh, see, I'll, Can so I go? You're gonna have to flip around because it's, it's yeah. the shadow is here. The shadow knows. There we there go. We go. Okay. Oh, wow. So it looks like we got a couple of batteries. Nice. We've got a cable just laying here. I have no idea what that's for. That is the. Uh, is it that audio for? out? That's like, can, a, like, it's like a headphone, dual headphone jack maybe for. But that's a that's an eight. That's a two and a half millimeter, not a three and a half millimeter. Huh. No idea what that's for. Interesting. I have a feeling this wasn't meant to be in here, but somebody accidentally dropped it in. I wonder. Very curious. All right. Okay. So, let's so get you there. That. Looks like we got two batteries. Okay. NP seven fifties. This is a fifty two hundred milliamp, and I told you I got. You I picked up the eighty eight eighty eight hundred milliamp. That's a monster of a yeah. battery. Yeah. Yeah. The beautiful thing of the dual batteries isn't just the obvious, you get more power, but you can hot swap them. So when one battery dies, it pops over to the other, and you yeah. can then swap it out so you don't have to turn it off, and it um, looks which like, is really nice. Looks like I got four more of these guys, so okay, you can great. add, yeah, you know, you keep carries. working. Which is, this, that'll be nice on the, um, working on the movie in April, because there's going to be a ton of footage yeah, and sure. just offloading that. So, And then this is the guy that plugs into the computer, so you take this yep. puppy... Slide that into there, Whoop. yep. And then, so you can mount on the computer. So this thing has, that's, I always love this kind of thing. So your Mac should not need the second one. Um, if I, because I don't, the one that I have only has the one cable, but uh -huh. if you've got a lower powered computer or PCs, for some reason it seems to be you need this, you need to plug into two USB ports to get enough power and data to drive it. Wow. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know why. Really, that interesting. I was wondering why they had second ones, yeah. because you didn't have power. Yeah, All so right. it should not be an issue for the for your computer. Okay. Um, I feel cool. like there's so this, there's, there's an empty slot for it says accessory. Yeah, that's obviously for the, for the accessories the, under. Accessories okay, under. So let's go back to that top view. All here. right, pull you out. Look at you. Oh, it's the uh, the sunshade. Oh, nice, very nice. Okay. Yeah, and that's cool because that actually has. Let me see. You got several different layers. So you got light bleed bezel. Wow. This screws on. And then you've got this, and then this is leaving. It'll even block out more, more of the That's sun, cool. right? Yeah, I have, I have one of these. It's not quite this robust. And mine is from Atomos. So it was for the Ninja Assassin, mm -hmm. but it works on the Inferno as well. But okay, cool. Okay, very nice. Sweet. All right, and then looks like we got another charger. Oh, that's great. So you got dual chargers now. Yeah, can argue with that. And then I got more of the. Okay. Yeah, I can go to your twice adapters, right? That's go to your twice. There's the HDMI. There's your HDMI. Oh no, this, no, this is actually. Uh, power, so you can actually run this on a, a detail. On a detail, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you wanted to do some bigger, That's you know, like the Anton Bowers or whatever. Yeah, this, so this is a charger. Get that oh, like a single that. charger oh, for. Go. Yeah, single charger for the uh, Sony. Now, does oh, this be a good question? I'll have to find out. I know that on the Ninja Assassin, the batteries 
if you plug the battery in and then plug the Ninja into the wall, it does not charge the batteries. Mm. You have to have an external charger. But I wonder if the... I never even tried it to see if the Inferno changes that. Huh. never even tried it. It might. Oh, well, we should. We should Because that's that. your only charger then, right? Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, and then this I get... the shoulder strap, it looks like. Yay. We'll put that with the GH5 shoulder slap. <laughs> shoulder <laughs> slap. Shoulder slap. Yeah. about right. Shoulder slap. Does anybody oh. actually wear those? What it says Panasonic yeah. GH5? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just don't. Don't do that. Just don't, don't do that. that. Don't, don't do tell that. everybody what your camera is. Right. Makes it more worth stealing. So okay. sweet. Sweet. All right. There you go. Nice little package in there. Fantastic. I love it. Very cool. We'll have a contest. Whoever wants this. Uh... <laughs> First person to ask for it. All right. Bart says uh, it's nice to include the D-tap cable. Now I, I had to make my own for the original show. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Uh, Trevor is asking. Right. Uh, tell Sean he's not unboxing properly. Aren't you supposed to throw the packaging off the desk or over your shoulder? All the Joseph style, right? So there you go. What did you break? What the hell is that? <laughs> Clean. Good lord. See, yeah. why, that's why I wasn't doing it. It's not my office. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, uh, that's. Oh, funny. this goes. Oh, back you can. Yeah, okay. that goes into there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Trevor also says, is your friend, I guess you mean Sean here, planning to shoot in HDR? That's where the Inferno setup really starts to bring a feature set you can't really absolutely. get anywhere else. That's, absolutely. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So well, the, right. And I, well, I love the fact that you can you can shoot in HDR, or you can shoot vlog, right. but you can see HDR, HDR yeah. on the screen. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, exactly. And that's so something I looked at in my... Um, in the training, the GH5 training, we looked at the HDR capabilities a little bit, and you, when you're looking at the screen on the on the Ninja, you can drag the kind of HDR-ness up and really start to bring in all those values. It's just, it's an incredible thing to play with and see. Empty slots here. More batteries. More batteries. Oh, okay, perfect. Well, yeah. I just happen to have a couple more. Yes, you do. Sweet. Super. That's a nice kit. I like that. That's great. That's great. Look at you with all the big toys. I'll actually have to make sure that I'm... Packing it back up after every, you know, I, I'm a running gunner, so I like I know. just throw it in the truck and go. And actually, I put it in the baby seat. You know what you're, <laughs> you know what you're gonna want. I got this thing. Let me show this thing. I'm mean, I'm waiting for this to actually show up. It's something I kickstarted because you know, you know how that works. Right. You buy something, expect it this year. It comes in 2025. 20, um, let me show you this thing. This is so cool. Is this thing before I say what it's called? Let me see. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Um, that will help you to ensure that all of the stuff that you took on a shoot is coming home with you. Um, i got to log into my... While you're doing that, I'm going to see page. if this battery's got any charge on it. Uh, let's see here. Where are these things? There, this is it, called Gear Eye. Oh, I can't wait for this thing to show up. So, this little thing here, um, is it... There's... Oh, no. This is it. I just need to figure out where the full page is. Here we go. No, I'll oh, forget it. Anyway, the point is, the gear eye, what it is, is you get these stickers that are basically RFID stickers, little mm -hmm. ones, and you put them on every piece of gear that you have, every lens, every camera, every battery, everything. Okay. And then there's a, a hardware attachment for your iPhone, and it's a scanner. It's an RFID scanner. Oh, nice. And so you go, you take every device, and you scan it. So I'd say, I put one on this, and I scan this. I go, okay, that's my SSD drive, and I scan this, and that's my mouse, and so on. And so now everything's cataloged. And then you're going on a shoot, mm -hmm. so you take your your case here, and you run the, the thing over at the scanner, you take an inventory of everything that's in there. Okay, that's wow. before you leave. Now you're on set, you do your shoot, you pack everything up. Before you leave, you take the scanner, you run it over the uh. box, and it says, oh, you're missing a battery. <laughs> Beep. You're missing a C-stand. <laughs> right, exactly, things like that. Where is it? Who's got my C-stand? <laughs> you're missing your assistant, right? You <laughs> yeah, know. exactly. Like, right, yeah, <laughs> awesome. Look at that, fired right up. Yeah. It's got some juice. Got uh, a full battery on that. Yeah. Fantastic. There, there she is. And the, well, the other great thing about this is that trying to shoot on a GH4 or a GH5 with this little tiny, now this little GH5 screen is beautiful on here. Right. Um, but it's so small, and we have a director looking over your shoulder. That's, it is that's really, that's... Ah, what <laughs> the crap? It's a meta. I got a feed Mommy. from the switcher coming down to here. Oh, so. nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whatever, right? I love it. Yeah, looks oh, good. Pretty good. Look at the image quality. It's fantastic. My goodness, it's brilliant. Look, at, uh, we look so good. Here. I know. I'll take it's it. It's like we actually I'm look like it. you know reasonable, intelligent human beings. And my <laughs> screen is like, what the hell are those Muppets <laughs> doing on stage? Um, God, this thing's fabulous. What a screen! Look at this. Oh. Nice. well, and that's what I was going to say. It's like it's so nice to be able to even you know have a director's monitor you know in on these smaller budgets. Like, right. you know, he could actually. Can you run off of here, and you can run actually another? Yeah, yeah, because it's got an output, right? So you can you can do a pass through. Yeah. So you do the output, and then you can run that out to a television or another one of right. these or whatever. Yeah, I think 
Mm. I don't remember now if it downscales on the output or if it's just, just a pass through. It's mm. probably just a straight pass through. I don't remember. I think you can tell it what to. to Maybe you can. Yeah. Maybe you can. I can spend more time. Oh, yeah, I got to play with this thing too. I got it. Mine's a little prettier work. than yours. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Where is mine? Where's mine's dead. Where'd it go? Room. Oh, it's in the other room. What's that thing? It's packed up. That's not it, is that's, it? No, that's that really super crappy little H oh, uh, right, HDMI yeah. monitor that I yeah. use for. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not fun. nothing, Ryan. It's fine. Um, well, thank you for letting me do an unboxing on Yeah, that was uh, fun. It's good. We got to do an unboxing on this thing because I hadn't seen, especially I haven't seen the accessory kit. Yeah. When I got mine, it came direct from Atomos. It was a, a demo unit. It basically came wrapped in bubble wrap and you know, right. it was just this in a case. And I think there's um, another kit you can get, which is the power kit, the the accessory kit. No, you don't have HDMI cables. Uh, oh, what the? What? Oh, no. Maybe, maybe that's in the other kit that you didn't buy. Yeah. Well, that's the power kit. Let me see. What well, says on the back of that box what everything's supposed to be in there? This thing, this has. Did they jip me a? The case, the control cable, control cable. So that's, that's some kind of control cable. That's what that is. Oh, for a LAC controller, I'll bet. I'll bet that's what that dual-headed weird gotcha. thing was. Um, batteries, fast charger, the DTAP cable, the caddies, power supply, and the HDR sun hood. So, yeah, no, you uh, you did not get the HDMI. HDMI. Okay, so I'm going to Best Buy. Yeah, you want the little ones, and they have to be. HDMI 2, is that right? I don't even remember the spec now, but they have to be the higher end cables or you're not going to get the full 10 bit. You right. got to through it. So, yeah, you got to be careful. You I would buy cockroaches. their cables. Because um, it comes with. Uh, okay, Ryan, now you can grab something. Are you still on? I think Ryan might have left. He oh. showed up for a little moment, I guess. Oh, not. Okay. Because um, I, I have mine came with the little cables, but that's just what Adam was sent, so I'm not sure. Oh, well. Yeah, this is uh, Bart saying. Isn't there a special HDMI cable? It comes, well, <laughs> it's just HDMI 2. I think, I'm pretty sure that's the right spec. Mine, the one that I have has a, it's a short little coiled cable, and it's the perfect length, so you can mount this on your cage. It's just a little cable, so that's awesome. How do you not um, put an HDMI cable in here? I don't know. That is surprising. That's like Apple send, selling you an iPad and not giving you the pencil along with it. It's a, little, it's a little worse than that, frankly. Yeah, <laughs> actually, it is. So I can't connect. I guess I guess you have to. Womp, womp, womp. So, yep. Uh, Bart says this confirms they no longer include the XLR breakout cable. Correct. Kind of crazy that it doesn't even come in the accessory kit. Well, I think there's a separate accessory kit. This is like the big honking accessory kit. Yeah. Um, here, let's just look this up. Let's just go to Amazon. Yeah, let's do that. Did you get on Amazon or let's go B and H? We like B and H. Yeah. Let's go to B and H and see what they say because. Uh, yeah, you need, <clears throat> well, obviously you need it. Now, the XLR thing, going back in time a little bit, I remember talking to the Atomos folks years ago. This is when the Ninja Assassin, the red one, well, it's got the red bumper on it. It's what I, I can't grab it, but it's here. Um, when that one first came out, that replaced the Shogun. Not replaced, but that was in addition to the Shogun. The Shogun cost $1,700, I believe, and it had SDI and the XLR and all this stuff. And they realized that the majority of their users didn't need the SDI inputs. Mm -hmm. And by removing the SDI and I guess the XLR inputs, they could bring the cost down dramatically. And that's when the Ninja Assassin came out at $1,000, which was huge. Gotcha. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. You know, epic, right? Yeah. And it's the same thing on here. It's HDMI, there's no SDI, there's no XLR. There is an adapter though. That's the cool thing is now this has a port on it the XLR mic adapter, so you can go XLR into this with a cable adapter, so you do still have the capability, but the device is still only a thousand dollars with this insane. So this screen. this whole kit was eleven ninety. So the oh, so the this unit, whole thing was only two hundred bucks extra. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it was normally I think okay. it goes for three hundred if you buy it by itself. You might get some deals, but this is came from from Amazon, but I uh, it shipped from Adorama. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here's oh, why is this crash? Great. Well, eventually I'll get the screen back up. Um, I just I think this iPad that I use as my remote control is just on its way out. Here mm -hmm. we go. So here's we're on uh, B and H right now. There's yeah, they've got it for twelve ninety. So there's the kit. Oh, the kit. <coughs> mm -hmm. Go back. Um, oh, there's the, yeah, with the accessory kit. Well, maybe that one comes with the cable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, okay. Oh, there's the power kit. That's what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. So let's see what the power kit is. Oh, it looks like it's just batteries. Um, right. That's just batteries. Two batteries and a single slot charger. Okay. Yep. So, huh. interesting. Doesn't any of these come with the cable? Huh. Let's go back to the main device itself. Does it say anything about... No cable. That is kind of surprising. 
So here's the Atmos bucks. full cable. Yeah, that is kind of surprising. It doesn't come with that. So that's it. So that's the one that I have, the coiled cable, the Atomos one, yeah. full HDMI. Yep, that's what you need. Let's see. What does it say about the cable? Is this the spec? Does it HDMI type A? Um, it doesn't say anything about HDMI 2 or whatever. I'm pretty sure that's what it was, though, is mm. the HDMI 2 that uh, that it needs. Crash. Um, yeah, let's I'll get this back on screen momentarily. <clears throat> so I'll be going back to uh, Amazon today, clearly. Yes. And I will be purchasing <laughs> an HDMI cable. And I will be getting a, what's it called? Uh, another, probably a dual battery charger because this is only this only charges one. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I got my my ch dual battery charger is the third party I got on Amazon or whatever. So whatever inexpensive, it's crazy. Yeah, and you the cool thing is the one that I have came with a, uh, what do you call it, a car cigarette lighter adapter. Oh, okay. Right, so you can nice. power it from there. Yeah, so you can charge yeah, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is definitely good to have. Cool. Definitely good to have. Um, Bart saying the, the full size HDMI cable from Atomos is $100. It must be the larger one because hmm. uh, we just looked at the one that's 20 Trevor says you can search some of the GH5 groups for cables that will work also. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Atomos says you have to buy the HDMI 2 for Ninja Inferno, which is separate. Well, there you go. Gotcha. There you go. Looking at the comments here for anybody who's wondering what we're looking at. Yeah. Um, David Zong, thank you for that. So, yeah, mine just came with it. But I have plugged in... I have used other cables, but probably not. It's probably for the 4K 60 at 10 bit. I think that's where you have to have that right. bigger cable. If you're not right. doing the full on, then I think you can get it. So I can't get that thing. little twenty dollar one. I got to get the humdinger. Well, no, no, that is the right cable. Oh, okay. It's just a short version. Gotcha. That's the one that's made for going straight on your. On yeah, your camera, which is right? what I'll be doing. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep, yep. Um, it, I wish it said a little bit more about the cable, but no, that's <clears> that's the one. Yeah. Coiled to prevent it's just clutter. Coiled. To prevent what? Cl to prevent clutter. Clutter. And then what? So I need. If I wanted mics coming into this, then I yeah, got to get an XLR. Let's take a look at that um, adapter. XLR. Um, uh, if I can buy XLR and put a separate breakout cable, let's just do a Ninja Inferno XLR. I guess I could just still go through Photo Joseph's course on the GH5 while I'm waiting for my cables and <laughs> battery chargers to show up. Uh, let's see here. Is there? I'm not even seeing anything on here listing. You know, I, I've seen people, pl you know, plug it in the hot shoe, and I, that makes me so nervous. And it just does not look right. It doesn't look right to me. People oh. mounting it right here. On, on the hot shoe, yeah. yeah. I think that cage is, is a good way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That would be better. I someone in the very beginning and said if there was a 5-inch version of this, they would like that. And I, I, can, I can totally <clears> understand that. If you want that more run and yeah. version, a smaller yeah. version of this would be great. Well, you know, small HD makes a brilliant, brilliant monitor for five five inches and it's I think it's like five hundred bucks. But it's not a recorder. It's, just it's not a recorder. Yeah. So that's the thing. You were giving that up. But I, I remember seeing that at Cinegear and it has two thousand nits of brightness. Okay. Where this has fifteen hundred. So I mean okay. we were sending in the broad daylight in June and beginning of June and I mean it was amazing. But yeah, Max you, Uriot you've did, done well uh, with did a this review thing. on that. Oh, I love this thing. Yeah, yeah. Max Uriot did a review on that monitor. He really oh, okay. Liked it. It's yeah. just, but it's not a recorder, so right. yeah, that kind of defeats that. Right. Yep. Very good. Well, I guess okay. we're going to go play with your new toys. Right. Minus I, I got to go shopping again. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done enough shopping. Oh uh, well. That's uh, the truth here. All right. Uh, search XLR breakout. Bart says. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see here. Um, XLR breakout. Ninja Inferno, we just let's get rid of this, just call it Atomos. And there goes search. Is there a release button for this? Atomos XLR breakout. Yeah, there is. It's on the side there. So, here it is. Ooh, there's a $120 cable um, for the Shogun. So it would be the same one. And then the Ouch. Nemo type. So is that multiples, three pin? You have to look at them and see this what it's is. This is an expensive really hobby. Uh, well, by hopefully the way. it's not a hobby. Hopefully it's more than a hobby. <laughs> it's it's been been a very expensive hobby. hobby. It's a very yeah. inexpensive profession when you compare it to what you used to have to spend to do all this. Oh, God, that fits in there. Nice. There you go. Like a glove. Sweet. Here, let's uh, we'll give people a top down view of that. There you go. Yeah. Look at that. All in there. Nice. Very nice. And then, I don't know where this guy goes. Just put that in there. Super. Great. You gave me that cable. Thank See God. <laughs> what would you do? Thank you, you for that. Cable? All right. Good Sweet. Stuff. Thanks for yeah, coming stiff. in there. That was fun. Indeed it was. It's always nice to hang out with you, Joseph. Well, it's always nice to have you over. And we'll do some drone stuff later, right? He got a, a spark with all the accessory kit toys. I got the, the controller. Yeah. And I actually purchased the OTC cable. OTG? OTC. O -O -T -O OG. I don't know. O yeah. I get it. I don't know. But I got the uh, mini 
uh, you know, the Apple lightning to lightning whatever, to whatever is, yeah. that yeah mini something um, where you can connect to the controller and it actually gives you a hardware better range you. instead of having to Wi-Fi yeah. connect um, and having that drop. So cool, yeah, <sighs> fun. So many toys. No, nah. all right, guys. Film some stuff. Thanks everybody for tuning in today for that uh, little impromptu show. That was a lot of fun. We'll take uh, take care of yourselves and we'll see you around next time. See you. Final parting words. Uh, go out and shoot something cool. There you go. Go out and shoot something cool. Take care, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. Peace. Fun.